He's been one of my personal musical heroes. He's a six-time Grammy Award winner. He's been nominated for 23 Grammy Awards throughout his career. He sold more than 150 million records worldwide. He's a member of the Songwriters Hall of Fame. He's a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And yet, for all those amazing accomplishments, Billy Joel has been a songwriter first. I actually owe him a bit of personal thanks as well. I have an 18-month-old daughter, and when it's difficult to get her to sleep, sometimes playing Lullaby by Billy Joel is the only thing that works. <laughs> and so I want to thank him for that. And so I want to thank all those that were helpful in getting Billy to be here today, John and Lee Eastman, Jody Gerson, um, of course, and uh, we're going to have a special presentation in just a moment, but please welcome Billy Joel to the stage. This is the 2015 NMPA Songwriter Icon Award given to Billy Joel. Thank you. Um, it's an honor to get the award. I appreciate it. I got a little unnerved. The girl that was leading me in said something like, your zipper's down? Is that what you said? <laughs> so I'm trying to walk down the aisle and you know, check. I'm saying. Anyway, uh, it's, look, being up here and making a speech, it's kind of hard to top you know, Donald Trump's speech about running for president. <laughs> But well, look at out here, thousands of you. Thousands. Yeah. What the country needs now is a great songwriter. Yeah. Not these other guys. They don't even know if the air conditioning's on. Anyway, um, thank you very much. We just played at Bonnaroo on Sunday. And, um, you know, we've had a run at Madison Square Garden. It's people, you know, paying for tickets to come see me. I, we know, you know, there are fans that come into the garden, but at Bonnaroo, you had something like 80,000 people. The average age was 23 years old, I was told. And they're there to see everybody. Florence and the Machine, uh, Boo Boo and the Vleep Fleeps. I don't know who was in school. <laughs> and, uh, and I'm thinking, Oh, I'm looking out there, and everybody looks like really kids. And uh, I don't know if they're going to know this stuff. And the amazing thing was they were singing along to the songs that are like 20 years old, 25 years old. And uh, I was kind of shocked, and, and I, I realized um, this stuff has resonance. I never realized when I was a kid, when I was starting out, that it would last like this. Uh, that it would go this long. And we've had a couple of high-profile years, the last two years, the garden, the, the thing in Washington, the other thing in Washington, the, uh, all this stuff. And uh, the guys at Universal have been getting my music to other venues and to other mediums. And uh, they must have done a good job because these kids are singing along with the, with the words. And I said, oh, this is pretty cool, okay. And uh, I could kind of coast for a while during the show because, <laughs> you know, I ain't no spring chicken no more. Anyway, um, but uh, it's, it's gratifying to know that um, my music uh, is having the resonance it's having. And it's nice to know that um, there are people like you guys who appreciate songwriters and songwriting because it's really the toughest part of the job. Singing, to me, I'm not crazy about my voice. I feel like I'm yelling in key. <laughs> you know. Just, okay, time to yell, okay. And playing the piano is, is, is tougher. Um, and, uh, you know, being a rock star, that's kind of a silly job, but it's a great job. Uh, but um, it, it's, it's, it's good to be among people who appreciate songwriting, because it is the toughest part of the job. And without the songwriters, and without that, you don't have 
anything to sing. And uh, I was just pointing out to me recently, a lot of hip hop guys are picking up on my songs and using them in hip hop. You know about this? You heard about this? <laughs> no, I had no idea. I didn't know. And they're using riffs and they're using pieces of my songs. And I said, go ahead, go, please. Because uh, uh, a lot of the um, urban audience might not even know my stuff except for those guys using it. So I said, go, take it away. Anyway, um, but uh, thank you very much for this. I appreciate it. And I don't know who I'm supposed to bring on now. Who's next? <laughs> okay, this guy will be up in a second. <laughs>